We have targets, <laughs> yeah. annual revenue down. It fell for the first time in seven years, despite strong holiday sales. Jeff Flock is at a target in Philadelphia. Jeff, has this downside move in sales or their revenue, has he got something to do with shrinkage, shoplifting? I, though they didn't say so, I think it did. Uh, you know, they closed nine stores because of that very reason. They were just losing money because they had too much retail theft. But, you know, it's possible to actually sell less and make more. And apparently that's what happened with Target. Good news, bad news. Uh, they were, had a 58% profit increase because they did a better job in the fourth quarter of not getting ripped off. Now, uh, things are not all rosy. Take a look at what their uh, chief growth officer said just a, a few moments ago on the on their sales call. She said, while there are some encouraging signs in the economy, there are also stubborn pressures impacting families and retailers. Consumers stay, they uh, still feel stretched. So that's part of it too. But as I said, they closed nine stores and now they're locking up a lot of their stuff. If you go into a store, particularly in an inner city somewhere at Target, you'll see a lot of products like simple stuff, deodorant, toothpaste, all locked behind those you know, plexiglass doors. That's not exactly a great way to encourage sales. And Gene Marks, the retail analyst, we talked to him this morning too, he says, uh, you know, they're doing a better job at fighting retail theft, but locking everything up is not a good long-term strategy. Here's what he said. It is a huge problem for retail. And the only way that that's really gonna be addressed uh, is through better legislation that really prosecutes these people for, you know, for, for the crimes that they're committing. Technology can only go so far and in-store management can only go so far. Uh, I leave you maybe with a stock. Obviously, people encouraged by it, up about 12% at the last uh, I checked. So good news there. And Target says it's going to open uh, 300 new stores. They're doubling down on stores, the CEO said on the on the conference call this morning. So I guess we'll see. They just got to do a better job of not having people come in there and taking what they want and not paying for it. But opening 300 Sorry. new stores, that's how you get the stock up. Jeff Lott, thanks very much indeed. All right.